Hello, so today we're with Alvaro, who is currently studying in LA, is that right? Music? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where exactly? What? Uh, Long Beach. Oh yeah, Long Beach. And uh, he sent us an email a couple of weeks ago about live coding the organ. Right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so what do you do? Talk about yourself and what you do with live coding. Yeah, so what I do is to uh, make music with code. And the thing is that with this setup over here, with this language that is called Sidal Cycles, you can send MIDI to any instruments you want. And since I saw that this organ has a MIDI input channel, I was like, maybe we can connect the two things and just control a church organ with MIDI and see yeah. what happens. Pretty awesome. So uh, you've been getting it ready. The museum's been open for the last few hours and you've been messing about uh, trying to get a little bit of a setup. Did you know what you were going to do before you came here or have you made it um, up whilst you were Honestly, I made it up, yeah. I was just thinking of a few sequences and mm. try to uh, make layers mm. and just start adding them and then taking them out by the end of the song, something like that. So, uh, yeah, tell me about what's going on here. What's, what's the program you're using? Sure. Uh, this program is called Tidal Cycles, and it's a free and open source uh, language for live coding, for improvising music with code. You have different layers here. They are, they are numbered. So D1 is the first layer, D2 is the second one. And I'm taking a set of notes, running them through a scale of my choice. Oh, yeah. And then I'm sending that to a MIDI channel of my choice. In this case, uh, different MIDI channels map to different sections of your organ. Yes. Um, and then you can change numbers uh, to change those notes, to change the attack, the octaves, whatever. So uh, do you want me to show you how it sounds? Yeah, so uh, just before we yeah. start, so you've got uh, the, these are the different lines and then you uncomment them to bring those in and stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of like a DJ control surface and yeah. Yeah, you start bringing in samples and sounds uh, as you wish the moment you comment and, and comment the lines. Oh yeah. nice, so how do you start the code? Yeah, <laughs> to start the code you hit control enter. Go on, give it a go. Yeah. I want to hear what you got. That's a bass line, for yeah. instance. This one over here, it's a uh, melody. Oh yeah, cool. So is that random, or is that because you're reading this? Is that the whole code, or does it keep on going along? Uh, no, that's the whole code for this melody. It's really cool because with live coding, if you know how to express things with the right formulas and the right algorithms, you can get a lot of music with just a few characters, which mm -hmm. is super cool. And here you have three arpeggios, three uh, sets of notes going up, down, and then back, running them through two different chords and then repeating those chords uh, a different amount of times. So yeah. here I'm um, repeating them like uh, eight times each. So. And with fast, I'm changing the speed at which I play these chords. So. <laughs> it's amazing that he's managing to work. Why is yeah. it not? Because we were having problems with notes sticking because uh, the notes are very quick mm -hmm. uh, that you've been writing, which is fine. You've got to test it to its limits. Yeah. But why wasn't it all getting stuck then? You've got playing at a 10 it's all the time. It's very interesting, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder why it was that. That's happened. really interesting. But that's also, cool. Yeah. And then you have stuff like repeated notes, like this thing over here. And then you oh, can cool. ask it to, instead of always playing the chord on each repetition, play neither a chord or a rest, and you start getting more interesting rhythms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get into this? What made you go, I'm going to live code now? Yeah, uh, that was because um, I come from a computer science background, but also I come from a classical music background. And one day, uh, there was a guy giving a talk about algorithmic composition in mm -hmm. Madrid. And then he was mentioning Super Collider, that is one of the main yeah. live coding programming languages. And at the end of the talk, he was like, by the way, you can use this to improvise music. And I was like, by the way, like, no, <laughs> this is like the whole thing, you know? Oh, yeah. And that's how I got started. Then it was like a rabbit hole from there. Is yeah. Tidal based on Super Collider? It is. it is, yeah. Yeah. So, title the syntax you see here is based on Haskell, but then it talks to um, Super Collider in the back. So uh -huh. every time that I'm running title, 
super collider is running in the background. I see. So oh yeah, it's a deeper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh -huh. see. Ah, nice. And um, uh, by the way, you've also got a YouTube channel, and there's a bunch yeah. of compositions that you've made live coding, live live videos of you playing as well, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and singing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a way of manipulating effects, or is it pure note-based? Yeah, or, really? so that's something that I still have to um, play with. Yeah. But yeah, you can take uh, input mm -hmm. from your mic or from anything else and feed that into the system. Ah, oh, cool. So, yeah. uh, what if somebody wanted to get into this, what steps would they have to take? Just type in title on Google. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm using this setup because it gives me more flexibility, but if you are just getting started, there's a really, really wonderful website called Straddle, straddle.cc, and it just starts up with um, pre-made title code. It runs on JavaScript, so you don't need to install anything on your computer, and you can just uh, hit play and listen to uh, different oh, yeah. sounds and stuff. Volume. Yeah. Turn it up. Oh, get it on. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So awesome. If you are getting started. Just uh, try out straddle.cc. It's the quickest way to get started. It has a documentation on the learn section. Oh, nice. And it comes with examples. It's really wonderful. Yeah. That's cool. So you've been spending the last couple of hours just messing about and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to show us what you sort of figured out might come out best on the organ? Yeah, <laughs> I would love to. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's take it away. Yeah. OK, so I'm just going to start adding um, two chords. It's one with different arpeggios. Then I'm going to start repeating each one of those a uh, few times, and then I'm going to change the speed of that, and then add more things and see what happens. Something like that. Awesome. Cool. Oh, that's really cool. It's a shame about the stuck notes, but that's nothing yeah. to do with you. You're just testing it to the limits. It's yeah. this one, isn't it? It's the damn F. Uh -huh, yeah. The F. The cool thing about live coding is that you can run it locally on your machine, but you can also run it on a multiplayer kind of website, kind of like having a Google Doc. And there's a tool for that called Flock. Uh, if you type flock.cc, um, you can start the session for Tidal or any other live coding programming languages. And many people can join if you just share the URL with them. And that's what we're going to try to do now. Yeah, so um, I've just loaded it up. I don't know if you can see that, because we've not got screen record on my one. But um, 
It's not going to be that impressive, but it's, so I'm I'm on it. He's plugged into the MIDI. Yeah. He's coding. So if you you can see the mouse. The mouse is actually moving. Uh, can we get both of them in, maybe? Yeah, this is me. Oh, well, yeah. well, then it lose it. you lose the magic. But that is just cool <laughs> wielding. OK, so. Here's me, mm. and then I can see you over here. Yes. Yeah. So if you press play, uh -huh. as far as I understand, if you've done that, and then we've got it on here. Oh, is it coming? Uh, let me do that. I'm going to try. So um, I'm going to try to figure out what. Um, we're on the scale, aren't we? Yeah, so you, for instance, can change the scale from minor to major, yeah. Oh. And then if I change that, okay, I should change the scale now. Yeah, <laughs> now so happier. Oh no, shit! <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong note. And you, what's the, what's the, I'm just changing the numbers. The, if you want to add things. I don't uh, know, what should I do first? Yeah, so for instance, you can uh, add numbers if you add numbers here, that's going to change uh, the notes you are playing on the scale. OK. So these are scale degrees. Um, and then if you want to evaluate, you do a command enter on Mac. Yeah, command enter. Command enter. Try that. So, yeah. Oh. And if you change one of those numbers, for instance, yeah. Uh, so that's a rest. And this yeah, the wavy thing, the tilde is a rest. I don't know what any of these numbers do, but. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, is that like a port? Oh, I see. And this works in cycles. So if you add notes, um, it's going to make the cycle smaller. Also, whatever you put between the greater than and, um, and uh, smaller ah, yeah. than, that changes the note on every cycle. If you add notes there, that's going to change the length of the cycle, you know? Oh, OK, I see. So for instance, you've added a note, if I add more stuff, yeah, uh, and you can just keep adding numbers at will. Cool, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I see. And then you're putting another thing in. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't know what thing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. It's going to take a while for me to figure out exactly what's no, going on. No, you're doing amazing. Oh, no. Uh, is this? Oh, there's an error. Yeah. Ah. One thing about live coding is that errors are part of the performance. Uh, so, so. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, is that? And then. If I comment that, that'll turn that on. Yeah, I turned on the note! Yes! <laughs> okay, I see. Lowercase. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'll fuck it up. 
I'm resting. <laughs> How cool is that? You control it. Go on, bring it to a penultimate. <laughs> well, nice. well, good. That's awesome. How cool is Thanks. that? That was How amazing. Cool is that? You could yeah. actually control the same thing on multiple laptops. Yeah. How many can you have? Is it uh, going to be a big group thing? You could have a really big group thing, and you could have people doing this uh, over different parts of the world, and it would uh, work. Yeah. So. Oh, what? So if I wired this in, the next project is when you're back in LA. You could literally sit and make another one. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can do remote church yeah. organ jams. Yeah. yeah, we'll figure that out. So where can people find out more about you uh, oh. and the live coding? Thanks. Uh, people can find more about me over my Instagram, which is alvaro, A-L-V-R-O, dot makes, dot music. And, yeah, nice. And then you can also check my website, alvaro, makes, music, dot com. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank yeah. you very Thank you. much.